special chemicals, organism, materials, equipment and technologies, SCAMUT, brief overview. 1. What is the meaning of SCAMUT? SCAMUT is an acronym for special chemicals, organisms, materials, equipment, and technologies. 2. What are dual use goods and technologies? Dual use items are goods, software, technology, chemicals etc. which can be used for both civil and military applications. Such items require an authorization for exporting out of the country. India's list of items which need an export license is known as the SCAMUT list. 3. Is export of SCAMUT items regulated? Yes, export of items in the SCAMUT list is regulated as per India's foreign trade policy. Export is either prohibited or is permitted under an authorization. 4. Where can I find the list of SCAMUT items? Appendix 3 of Schedule 2 of ITC, HS, classification contains the control list of India which is also referred to as the SCAMUT list. You can go to the DGFT website to see the complete list. In the list as appearing in Appendix 3 of Schedule 2 of ITC, HS, classification, SCAMUT items are listed under 8, 9, categories as follows. Category 0, Nuclear Material, Nuclear Related Other Materials, Equipment and Technology. Category 1, Toxic Chemical Agents and Other Chemicals. Category 2, Microorganisms, Toxins. Category 3, Material, Materials Processing Equipment, and Related Technologies. Category 4, Nuclear Related Other Equipment, Assemblies and Components, Test and Production Equipment and related technology, not controlled under Category 0. Category 5, Aerospace Systems, Equipment including production and test equipment, related technology and specially designed components and accessories thereof. Category 6, Munitions List. Category 7, Electronics, Computers, and Information Technology including Information Security. Category 8, Special Materials and Related Equipment, Material Processing, Electronics, Computers, Telecommunications, Information Security, Sensors, and Lasers, Navigation and Avionics, Marine, Aerospace, and Propulsion. Each category contains exhaustive listing of items covered under that category. Special conditions applicable to items under different categories are mentioned under each category. 5. What is the purpose of notification number 5 dated 24th of April 2017 issued by DGFT? DGFT has amended SCAMUT from time to time in order to implement India's international commitments and obligations in the field of non-proliferation while simultaneously ensuring that trade facilitation is accorded the highest priority. This notification to update SCAMUT is part of India's continuing obligations as a member of the Missile Technology Control Regime MTCR, and as an adherent to the Nuclear Suppliers Group NSG, guidelines. Importantly, a significant number of changes to SCAMUT have been carried out to adopt the regulations and lists of the Wassenaar Arrangement and the Australia Group, two multilateral export control regimes that India wishes to join. Six. How will industry benefit by the adoption of these additional regulations? Government and industry have a responsibility to ensure that Indian exports are not accessed by proliferators, terrorist groups and non-state actors. Any export that inadvertently lands up in the wrong hands may have implications for our national security and affect Gran India. These regulations are an important step to address such concerns. Further. Global supply chains are increasingly interconnected. India's trading partners would like to be assured that India's regulations are in line with the highest standards. Adoption of these regulations is expected to act as an enabler for a greater role for Indian industry in global supply chains for high technology and value added items and strategic sector items. 7. What is the licensing jurisdiction of DGFT in the SCAMUT list? Export of items specified in categories 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 7 and 8 of the SCAMUT list may be permitted against an authorization issued by the DGFT. 8. Who gives license for category 0 items in the SCAMUT list? 
Licensing Authority for Items in Category 0 in Appendix 3 to Schedule 2 of ITC, HS, is Department of Atomic Energy. Applicable guidelines are notified by the Department of Atomic Energy under Atomic Energy Act, 1962. For certain items in Category 0, formal assurances from the recipient state will include non-use in any nuclear explosive device. Authorizations for export of certain items in Category 0 will not be granted unless transfer is additionally under adequate physical protection and is covered by appropriate International Atomic Energy Agency IAEA, safeguards, or any other mutually agreed controls on transferred items. Export of items specified under the Note 2 of the Commodity Identification Note of the SCOMET list would also be permitted against an authorization granted by the Department of Atomic Energy. 9. What are the guidelines for nuclear exports? Guidelines for nuclear transfers, exports, are available at http and web link. List of prescribed substances, Prescribed equipments and technology can be seen at http colon slash slash and web link. 10. What is the new Category 6 of SCOMET list? SCOMET Category 6 titled Munitions list that was hitherto reserved has been populated. The Military Stores List Notified VITI Notification No. 115 RE 2013-2009-2014 dated 13 March 2015 stands rescinded. It. 11. Who is the Licensing Authority for Munitions List that is Category 6 Items in the SCOMET List? Export of items specified in Category 6 of SCOMET List, Munitions List except those covered under Note 2 and 3 of Commodity Identification Note of the SCOMET list, is governed by the extant standard operating procedure issued by the Department of Defense Production in the Ministry of Defense. Unless prohibited, export may be permitted against an authorization issued by the Department of Defense Production. 12. What is the new Category 8 of SCOMET? The new Category 8 of SCOMET is titled Special Materials and Related Equipment, Material Processing, Electronics, Computers, Telecommunications, Information Security, Sensors and Lasers, Navigation and Avionics, Marine, Aerospace and Propulsion. It has been populated with WASINAR arrangement WA dual youth list items to harmonize India's export control list with the WA. 13. What is the new Category 8 of SCOMET? The new Category 8 of SCOMET is titled Special Materials and Related Equipment, Material Processing, Electronics, Computers, Telecommunications, Information Security, Sensors and Lasers, Navigation and Avionics, Marine, Aerospace and Propulsion. It has been populated with WASINAR Arrangement, WA, Dual Youth List Items to Harmonize India's Export Control List with the WA. 14. What are the specific changes with regard to defense exports? 1. The list of military stores, notification number 115 RE 2013-2009-2014 dated 13 March 2015, has been rescinded. Please refer now to Category 6 of SCOMUT, Munitions List, for the items that would now be under export regulations with effect from May 1, 2017. 2. Department of Defense Production, DDP, would continue to be the licensing authority for Category 6 items, subject to some exceptions. 3. DDP would be issuing a revised standard operating procedure to clarify the implications. 15. There appear to be many changes with regard to the IT sector. Is it true that the IT sector will be affected? At first glance, it may appear that there are many new regulations for the IT sector. But if you go through the provisions carefully, it may be noted that a. Software and technology in the public domain is excluded from the purview of regulations. b. There are specific exemptions and exclusions set forth in Category 8 of SCOMET. DGFT is planning specific industry outreach for the IT sector. All concerns of the IT sector would be addressed. 16. How do I apply for an authorization to export SCOMET items? 
application for grant of export authorization has to be made to DGFT through, for any support and services please contact www.gftconsultancy.com or call a jchabra at plus 919811108842. 17. What are the documents to be submitted for the application for SCAMAT authorization? The following documents need to be uploaded online while making the application. I, and use Comend user certificate SUC from all the firms, entities involved in the supply chain of the products, to be furnished on their letterhead duly signed by the authorized signatory. 2. Copy eyes of purchase orders of firms involved in the supply chain of the item slash product. 3. Ayatnariat form, ANF-1, profile of exporter. 4. Elaborate technical specification relating to item of export. V. Copy eyes of supply contract, agreement, if documents are bulky only the relevant portion containing contract reference and parties to the contract and the portion indicating the items to be supplied and quantity thereof not exceeding 10 pages shall be uploaded. V. Copy of DGFT authorization letter for the same product, if any in case of application for repeat orders. Hard copy, paper copy, of the following documents are required to be submitted to DGFT, HQ. I, original in-use comment user certificate, EURC. 2, copies of bills of entry into the destination country for items exported during the last one year. 18. What is the process to obtain the license? You need to first make an application to DGFT, headquarters for obtaining the approval for issuance of license. All applications for license for export of SCAMAT items are considered on case-by-case -case basis by an interministerial working group, IMWG, and the DGFT under the chairmanship of Additional Director General of Foreign Trade as per guidelines and criteria laid down in PARA 2.49 of the Handbook of Procedure Volume 1. Once the case is approved by the IMWG, the DGFT 